Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to go over how to get Fiddler working on your Mac OS browser. Usually you would use something like Charles for web proxying, but it's not the best. It's about like you only get 30 minute sessions, stuff like that. Uh, so um, in order to get this rocking, let's, uh, let's walk through the steps. There is a website that I am going to link to. And basically, you start out by uh, going to that site, and it's going to go through some of the steps. Some of the steps are a little weird, so I will walk you through it all. The second you hit this site, you instantly download a Fiddler. What you do there is you open your Fiddler, and you're going to get like one of these bad boys over here. So then you are going to put it put this fiddler inside of your applications and when I say applications I don't mean your personal applications which is like over here then here which is like just nothing I mean your root directory uh, one which is right here so I already did that as you can see uh, so we're done on that side. That's literally all you really have to do there. Next, we're going to uh, install uh, Mono. So Mono is a, another service that you would use in order to get this running on your machine. Here is Mono. Okay, great. Go to this website, Mono dash monohyperproject.com uh, you're going to want to download the most stable one right now it's uh, 5.16 um, but yeah, just click it, download it, install it I already have that installed so um, just go through that uh, process there next what we're going to do is we are actually going to go into our directory where we kind of housed our Fitbit Mac um, through our terminal. So open up your terminal. I use this terminal called iTerm and it's legitimately the same thing as terminal. So just do the same commands in the terminal. What you're going to do is you're going to go into your Right. So you're actually going to run this command. Um, this is actually going, let me just show you what I'm talking about right there. So you are going to run this command, which basically kind of synchronizes your current like model framework and all that jazz. So one thing you're going to need to do is, of course, you need to like Make sure you know where your model framework is. I found that by just going to the root library and looking at framework and finding it. Usually when you install it the way that you did um, with this guy here on with the site, this is where model will be housed. Go to the current version that you have. Um, when you go into the directory here, you're going to see, uh, let me just kind of go into it and show you what I'm talking about. So, we're currently in the library, frameworks, model framework versions. Uh, when you're in here, you're going to see that like there's a current, but like this is the version that you're currently using. So, put this whole number in to uh, this section right here. So, 5.16.0, that's where you put it. So next, um, you're going to hit that command, and that'll run and sync it up. Uh, let me just kind of show you how it looks like. Bam! So it'll look like this. Bam! Sync up. Yada yada yada. Next, you're going to run another command, and this is where the tutorial kind of like 
differentiate. So you kind of like open there and then you just, you're supposed to run this command. Uh, usually that just didn't work for us. So uh, what we did here is we actually ran a variation of that command with a flag. The flag is this. So you just kind of look. Sorry, I'm being the laziest. Yeah, so mono uh, fiddler exe. That's what you should run, but uh, we're going to add this argument in and make sure that we're actually in the fiddler directory. And this is the directory that I showed you earlier on where you saw in applications we put Fiddler Mac in there. So we go into there and we just kind of run mono that. It is going to take a little bit of time, but we can see it uh, currently running. It's going to ask you for your password over here. I'm going to take it off the screen and put it in. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I know. It's a beautiful password. So next, it's going to run, and we are going to put in our password properly this time. And yeah, then you have a beta version of Fiddler kind of working on your machine. I know it looks like something from like Windows 95. I'm guessing that's because it's beta, but um, it works the same way. So you can like kind of, you have your inspector here. You can actually um, put up like autoresponders, all that jazz. It's basically everything you need. Man, that's old. Look at this. It's so old. So anyway, um, one of the things that uh, I couldn't figure out that I, if someone wants to kind of like comment on, um, feel free to. <clears throat> I already had, oh, so once you quit another thing, once you quit Fiddler on your terminal, um, you just like hit uh, Control C, it's going to shut down Fiddler. So this is how you kind of run Fiddler every time now. You can kind of create a shorthand. Sorry, I live in the hood apparently. So you're gonna create a shorthand you can create a shorthand or you can just go into Fiddler Mac and then just run this, bam. So um, create a script on your bash profile or just go into here and do it the old fashioned way. So bam, it's gonna run. Is it starting up right now? You have to punch in your password. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. okay. And basically, yeah, that's how Apparently saying a fake password keeps messing me up with my real password, so sorry about that. Yeah, so we got it running again, and this is literally just how you're gonna like, run um, Fiddler from now on. The one thing that uh, was a little problematic is um, checking for mono. You can kind of just check to see if you have it here um, on the terminal once you install it. The only problem is there's no real way of like updating mono at this point. So let's say if you had an out of date version of mono, just make sure you have like 5.16, uh, 5.12 on up or something like that. But if you had to update it, you're going to have to update it through the site here, not through the terminal, which. Uh, if you know of a way, please comment on there. But that's basically how you run it. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm kidding. This is supposed to be on like a conference page. So, uh, yeah, thank you.